As has been widely reported, the Holy Father visits Ireland this summer. Now, if you're amongst those wishing that you have been successful in the ballad for tickets or had anxieties about making the trip over, we're happy to suggest a solution. I'm pleased to welcome back to the programme Patricia Ronain, uh, Ronain of uh, Knock Pilgrimages. Patricia, it's uh, lovely to speak to you once again. Yes, Jerry. thanks for touching this. Right, but Patricia, you, you're offering uh, escorted tours to knock on the occasion of the Pope's visit. Now, uh, all travellers need to organise independently is uh, getting themselves to the airport, and you do the, the you do, do basically do the rest. Uh, tell us more about the, uh, the the practicalities of what's included in your package. Yeah, obviously, it's it's very very special because uh, we've waited since 1979 uh, for the last Pope to visit knock. So I have come up with a package which includes the ticket for the Sunday event. Now, Pope Francis will arrive to knock on the Sunday morning and spend possibly up to a couple of hours in the shrine. Uh, Then there will be an open-air mass. And the package that I have created will depart any... UK airport that's serving knock on the Saturday, the 25th of August. We'll be staying in Sligo for a couple of nights and just a bit like what I do with all my packages, you will have the opportunity to see the various different sites. And then on the Sunday, we'll be heading to knock for the day. And then on the Monday, we go back to knock and stay there for three nights. So we will also visit Ballantopper Abbey during those days, Crow Patrick, the Father Payton Centre in Atty Mass. So I suppose it's a combined paper pilgrimage with the opportunity of seeing all the sites in the local area. No, it seems like an unmissable opportunity, and I know that uh, you personally oversee every aspect. Uh, with your vast experience, you know what people expect and uh, make them comfortable, safe and secure. Absolutely. Well, you know, the clientele that are coming uh, want that extra special attention. And for me, it's a door-to-door service. So I take the bookings. I escort the groups personally. You know, we use good hotels. uh, The transfers are good. And I think the biggest thing or the biggest compliment that I receive uh, when people have finished the pilgrimage is the pace. Uh, There's limited walking involved. And there's no rushed element to it. Even when we go to visit places, there's always adequate time. You know, one of the greatest uh, gripes of of escorted tours is the fact that you're on a bus, off a bus, only X amount of time here. So it's it's designed very well uh, that you go back relaxed as opposed to needing another holiday. Right. Now, you're a native of Mayo yourself, so uh, ideally placed to work on the arrangements, and there's uh, flexibility as uh, uh, what your clients do with uh, the full support from you. Absolutely, and I mean, it is important being from the area that I have all the necessary contacts. You know, if it's the case that something goes wrong, we have a solution very quickly, and we're very well covered with... uh, Medical assistance, because in Knock itself, we have the 24-hour West Dock, which is based in the village itself. Uh, we have a very good doctor on site. Uh, and then we have, you know, the local hospital, Castle Bar, a short distance away. So, yeah, we've, we've kind of everything covered, I suppose. And this is a unique opportunity to see Pope Francis. The tickets for the event in Knock sold out very, very quickly on the morning that they were launched. Right. And there are only 45,000 tickets allocated, which means that the experience in Knock will be a lot more personal than it would be, uh, let's say, in Dublin, where they've sold 500,000 tickets for what the Pope is doing up there. Right. Now, in case of uh, friends or couples where one is religious and the other is not, uh, what's your view on the suitability of the break? Absolutely perfect for either because it's a balance between spiritual time, but also there's a holiday aspect to it. You know, and a lot of uh, people who who join my trip will say they wouldn't have brought their husband or their wife, 
but the next year they would because it's not, uh, you know, it's not praying all the time. There is that good balance there and we have entertainment in the evening. It's optional, of course. But it is, it's it's a lovely trip and people will go back refreshed from it. But in this case, having seen Pope Francis, uh, it is it's very special. We're, we're just privileged that he, he's coming to knock. Um, it was the late Monsignor Horan's, uh, one of his last dreams that a Pope would fly into knock. Hence why he's not being helicoptered down from Dublin. He's actually flying into our local airport. Now, it would be interesting to hear a brief history from you about the founding of uh, Knock Airport and your own family friendship with the late Monsignor James Horan. Uh, that's right. When my father was a personal friend of the late Monsignor Horan, and it was always his dream to bring pilgrims to Knock. And I started this two years ago, and it's, it's a very personal journey for me. I feel I'm in a very small way uh, following uh, his dream uh, to, to bring the people from the UK. And there is a huge demand for this. Because uh, aside from Knock, we, we have lovely surrounding counties, Mayo, Sligo, Galway, Roscommon and Leitrim. Uh, we, we, you know, we have lots of things to showcase over here. Indeed. So, now there's no doubt that your your knowledge and experience is first class, Patricia, and uh, you've developed a unique service describing describing your trip as a, a pilgrimage with a difference. Now, the key information again is the pilgrimage to Knock includes tickets uh, to see Pope Francis, 25th of August, and uh, 699 uh, pounds per person. Price includes return flight, 10 kilogram hand luggage, all transfers, five nights hotel with breakfast and dinner, lunch and snacks on day out, entertainment, guided tours, full assistance from Knock Pilgrimage's representative. Patricia, it all sounds excellent. Now, presumably people should uh, book soon to avoid disappointment. Absolutely. There are limited tickets. As I say, I have a number of tickets, but the demand is is high at the moment. The other thing I would like to mention is for those who may not want the longer duration, I also have a three-night stay, and that's coming in at 549 plus the single supplement of £150. Now, there there may be some of your listeners who will uh, think that maybe the price is expensive uh, relative to the, the package that's offered, but it is August, it is Ireland, uh, it is Pope Francis that's uh, arriving, and people are travelling from all different corners, and because it's an early visit on the Sunday morning, uh, a lot of the hotels are full. Yes. Uh, availability is, is limited, so therefore, and the flights are also getting very busy. Uh, you can fly from any UK airport, as I've said. Uh, we have the London airports, Gatwick, Stansted, Luton, then we have Manchester and Birmingham, we have Bristol, uh, we have Edinburgh and Liverpool. So there's quite a choice there uh, for people. And look, they'll be looked after from the minute they book. It's peace of mind for them at the end of the day. But it is a case of, yes, getting on the phone as quickly as possible. Indeed. Now, Knock Pilgrimages can be found on Facebook. The email address is knockpilgrimages at gmail.com. That's once again knockpilgrimages at gmail.com. Or telephone 01268 762278. And uh, I'll be giving out that number a little bit later on. Patricia, listen, thanks for raising awareness of the chance to see Pope Francis. Have an enjoyable time in Knock in August uh, with all your loyal clients. And hopefully some uh, new faces, uh, old friends can meet up and uh, indeed make new ones. Patricia, listen, thank you very, very much. Lovely to speak to you. Thanks very much, Jerry. We'll say a prayer for you on this side. Thank you very much indeed, Patricia. (laughs) God bless.